I've repeatedly told Elise, no, we're not ready for a puppy. A puppy's going to be too much of a burden to be in an apartment. Ah. The thing that bothers me the most about John is the lack of help that I receive from him. I'm the one who takes her out all the time. I'm the one who usually feeds her. What do you want me to do? Personally, I just want her to stop uh, evacuating in my apartment. Evacuating. <laughs> I love the way you say it. How many times a day do you take her outside to toilet? I'd say two or three. Sometimes we'll take her outside to use the bathroom, and then, like, 20 minutes later, she'll, she'll go again. Do you argue over her? We do. She complains about me not taking Raven out as much as she does. But I'd like to remind her that she agreed to take her out all that she needed to when she got a puppy. John told me before we ever got a puppy that if I got a puppy, it would be all of my responsibility. I have to admit that I did not believe him, and <laughs> it looks like John was serious. I thought I would get some help on this. If Elise didn't realize that a puppy was going to be a lot of work before, she definitely realizes it now. Now she sees that there is a price that comes with that cute, cuddly puppy. She doesn't need to go potty, does she? She may need she to pee. She looks like she's yeah. going to pee. She looks like it. If a dog really starts to investigate the carpet and starts to circle, that's a sure sign that the dog needs to go to the toilet. OK, I'll wait here while you take her out. While Elise was out taking Raven to the bathroom, I had a chat with John, and I found out some very interesting information. Do the accidents on the carpet annoy you? They do. Mm. So does Elise normally clean it up, then? Elise cleans up the liquid. Oh, she doesn't clean up the other stuff? She won't touch it. Inside? Or, or both. out. Inside or out? Or out. Ooh, dog owners who don't pick up poop. That is my number one pet peeve. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, it is. <laughs> yep, here she is. Did she go? Yeah, she went one and two. One and two. Elise came back then. I told her that John and I had been having a conversation, and I put her on the spot. So, um, what do you do with number two? What do you mean? What, what happens with number two? Do you pick it up? No. So she just pooped out there and you didn't pick it up? No. OK. Tell me why you don't pick it up. It's gross. Oh, so somebody else should go and pick up your dog's poop for you or step in it? It's outside. Nobody, nobody walks over there. Then how would she know where to go next time? Oh, that is an excuse. <laughs> OK, that is an excuse. I'm pretty upset with John for telling on me that I don't pick up the poo. Well, I would like to see where she pooped. OK. I brought Victoria to where Raven usually goes number two, and it's quite covered. Almost um, every available inch of grass is covered with Raven's dog poo because I never pick it up, and we've had her for almost two months now. Um, and Victoria was standing there, and I don't think she approved one bit. Oh my gosh, there is loads of it. Elise showed me the place where nobody goes, where Raven poops. A, it's a grassy area, and kids will be playing on it. People will be walking around it. The amount of poop that I saw was disgusting. So what's going to happen to it? It melts into the ground. It just dissolves. Yeah, it melts into the ground, dissolves, and runs off into our water system. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah, it's absolutely disgusting. What well, one uh, of the major, major pollutants in this country is caused by dog poop. Owners not picking up their dog poop. The dog poop seeps into the ground. The runoff goes into our water system. The other thing about it, if there are children playing here, and children somehow come in contact with, with feces, they can get extremely sick from Salmonella E. coli, and in instances, it can kill. I'm not going to make you pick up all of them, but I do have a trash bag here, a poop bag. So go for it. Choose, choose one of the piles. You don't have to do it all now. No. The poo is very disgusting. It smells awful. It's squishy. Um, it makes me want to gag. It really is disgusting. Nice. OK, so seriously. I understand. I do understand. And I will be picking it up for the now on our problem. Are you sure? Or are you I'm just positive. saying that to me? Because I'm very used to people saying things to me when I'm here and then no, they're like. I, I didn't know that it was um, so dangerous for like the, the ecosystem and stuff like that, but I will pick it up. Yeah. Okay. Good. <coughs>
<clears throat> now that Victoria has a better idea of what she's dealing with, she wants to sit down with John and Elise for a serious chat. I know that there's things that Elise and I are doing wrong, and hopefully Victoria can correct them, but I don't want her shaking that finger. Getting a puppy is not as easy as people initially think. The house training. You take her out four times a day. Still a little too little. And this is where you come in, John. I know you didn't really want Raven, but you don't have a choice now. She's here, and you need to help out more. I am a bit concerned about having to change my schedule around Raven. Uh, I think it's going to impact Elise a little bit more than myself, but I do think that it may be slightly inconvenient for both of us. Do I have your 100% commitment? Yes. Yes. And you're not just saying that because I'm here? <laughs> no. All right. But she's not the only one who will have to make adjustments. And I want to go through a schedule and a routine that you're going to have with Raven every day. With the schedule, Raven is going to have less accidents inside the home. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Victoria wants the number of times Raven is taken out to dramatically increase, and she's counting on John to help out. I was happy that Victoria actually put on the schedule when John needs to take her out. I think that it's really going to encourage him to take her out more often. So you're taking her out seven, eight, nine, nine times in the day. My lord, nine times a day? I walk her probably once a weekend on Saturdays. All right, so are you guys committed to the schedule? Yes. Yes. OK, good. I hope John's OK with his new responsibilities. I want to have faith that he is going to follow through. He needs to. The more time and effort he puts into his puppy now, the less problems there are going to be in the future. Now, she wants to put right John and Elise's puppy mistakes, starting with Raven's ridiculously undersized living quarters. I have for you a crate. Da, da, da. This thing is huge. Wow. Yeah, now it is huge. Raven's crate is much too small for her. She needs to be in a much larger crate so that she can stand up, turn around, be able to lie down in comfort. I guess Raven was actually kind of cramped in that little crate, which is probably why she didn't want to get in it too often. Raven! Good girl! Yay! There you go. I just put little treats in there. Good girl. And get her used to going in and out. Do it for a couple of seconds, and then I gradually build it up. Raven warmed up to the crate a lot quicker than normal. I guess some part of that was that we weren't forcing her to go in the crate like we normally are. This is never, ever used as a punishment. Crate should be a comfortable, den-like space where the dog feels safe in it. If a crate is used for punishment, then of course the dog doesn't want to go in it. Keep the crate door open when you're here so she can go in and out. Having the new crate makes me feel um, really good for Raven, that she has somewhere comfortable to lay down and uh, something with no bad memories attached to it. Elise and John are just now realizing the level of commitment needed to raise a puppy right. I've definitely been doing more things with Raven than I have in the past. Elise has made sure that I take Raven out every time that the schedule says I should. It really feels good to feel as though I have a partner there to share some of the burden with Raven's needs. And I think that we're well on the way to having Raven potty trained. When Raven is inside the house, she's enjoying her new spacious accommodations and will even go into her crate on <laughs> command. Crate. Good girl. Good girl, Raven. Crate. Oh, that's a good Raven. Since I've become a little bit more involved with Raven's everyday life, it's no longer a chore having to do things with Raven and help her out. I pretty much enjoy it. 